Hey ladies and gentlemen out there, uh, this video is basically going to show you how to change out filament, uh, regardless if it's PLA, ABS, or any other kind. Uh, there are two ways of doing it. I'm going to go over both ways with you today. Um, some people might think this video is not that important, and um, as time goes on, yes, that might be the case, but... About a month ago when I got this printer, uh, my first 3D printer, I had no idea what filament was far enough to change it. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this video on how to change the filament. Like I said, there's gonna be two ways. The first way is gonna be the old school way that you can use towards any 3D printer. So the first method can be used to change filament for any printer out there as of today. Uh, the second one is going to be particularly for the Creality CR10, which you see in front of you today. Um, basically, there's a feature on there that when you hit the change filament uh, option, it spits it out for you. So all you got to do is just pull on the filament and get it out. All right, so let me go ahead and turn this sucker on. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do for the first step is... You need to preheat. So we will go into our menu. I'm going to go to prepare. I'm going to go to PLA preheat. And that's going to put it at 185. Now, just to make it go and make sure we don't have any problems, I'm going to go into control, temperature, and for the nozzle heat. Or nozzle temperature I'm gonna turn it up to 210 which I normally have it at okay so basically now we're just gonna wait and make sure this nozzle gets up to 210 all right guys while the bed or the nozzle is actually heating I'm gonna show you something real quick right back here on the CR 10 this is where your filament goes through Please keep in mind, there is a tab here that you have to push together, okay? So that is going to be very important because without pushing that down, uh, you will not be able to get the filament in or out on the first step. All right, so we got the nozzle up to the 210 desired temperature that we wanted. First thing I like to do is go down to prepare and go down to move axis now keep in mind guys when you go to the move 10 millimeter axis there is no Z and that's what I am looking for so I'm gonna go to the one go to the Z axis and as I change it you'll notice it is moving up okay so that's actually pretty good so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the filament out by squeezing the trigger here, the one I, or the spring-loaded thing I showed you earlier. But what you want to do first, if you know, pay attention to the nozzle here, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and push this down and push the filament in until you see some coming out. And when that happens, just quickly pull it out. Okay? That's the way to do it, and that's what you get. So your filament eventually melts down to that, and that's what comes out to make your print. So let me go ahead and grab this sucker right here, pull it out, extra filament. Now, to put it back in, they recommend that you cut the filament at a roughly 45 degree angle. So what I'm gonna do, is take the filament, go ahead and cut it, and that's what I got right there. Now to push this back in, again, I am just going to squeeze this trigger back here. And there it goes. You just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you feel it stopping and just push it through a little bit 
make sure some filament comes out. The reason you want to do that is because when you're ready to print um, and there's no filament in there, it'll do like the first three or to five seconds without any filament. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the second way of doing it, and this is the way I do it, and it is particularly for the Creality CR10. Uh, because this is the only printer I know and that I own that does it Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do for the second part the first thing I like to do is go to prepare and I like to do auto home and If you notice when you do auto home, I will bring it down to the front left side Okay, now keep in mind the bed, nothing's leveled yet. I'm just showing you how to change the filament out for this particular part. <clears throat> okay, so once that happens, um, the second way of doing it is to actually do a print. And while you're in the middle of the print, it will give you an option to change the filament. And that option is not there when you are not printing. So. For example, if I go here, this tune was not here before, but it is now. So the reason you want to let it heat up to what the required measurements are, like 60 for the bed, uh, 110 or 210 for the uh, nozzle, because you want everything heated up on the nozzle side. The bed really doesn't matter, but because of this print, it does do it. Uh, now just to let you guys know while that's heating up is When you are in the middle of a print and you have to change the filament out This is one of the ways to do it because you might want different color layers on your print So right now I'm using yellow and let's say halfway through I want to change it to pink or white or black or red uh, This is the way you're gonna do it, but just to change filament out regular um, You can do it this way too now. I know it's taking a little bit right now because they uh, nozzle is heating uh, you have to heat up the nozzle regardless which way you do it um, the only uh, caution I would tell you and this is nothing serious but when you're changing when you press this and you change the filament out do not push down on the z-axis let's say if you're in the middle of a print and you're about yay high and the z-axis will come this way and wait for you here if you're changing the filament out and you tend to push it down even let's say a millimeter uh, or a centimeter whatever when it goes back it's gonna start printing from the wrong position and that's gonna ruin everything so I don't like to change colors in the middle of prints I'm just doing this to show you the easy way of changing the filament out that the Creality CR10 comes with so we'll be right back Alright, so the machine started, it's doing its print, as you can see it's moving. Uh, real quickly, what you want to do is hit the enter button, go to tune, scroll all the way down, change filament. When you do that, just give it a second. <clears throat> You'll notice it's laying down a layer at the moment. Give it some time, and notice it stopped. And it came back, and if you look back here, motor's moving. The filament's being kicked out. All you gotta do is just pull it out. No squeezing, no nothing. But you will get that annoying beeping noise change, telling you to change filament. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and again do the same thing. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut the filament at a 45 degree angle okay so i'm gonna take my little cutters here oh shit didn't pull it all out okay so we're just gonna go ahead and cut that sucker right here okay and we're gonna go right back here push those two little tabs that i showed you earlier and just push it all the way through uh, you don't have to do anything on this one Just put it there and you are all done once you are done feeding the filament through 
just press this button right here and you'll notice oh, apparently I did not go in enough so it's still reading it as a no feed so that's perfect you ran into this issue together <laughs> Now I'm just gonna press the button and you notice the print has started. So if you don't push it in far enough guys, it's just not gonna do it. I'm still gonna give you the warning sign. So I'm just gonna go right here and stop this print because I don't need to print. I was just changing the film enough. And you'll notice it stops and it'll stay there and that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, so that's the two ways of changing filming out, guys. Uh, one way is the old school way, uh, which you can be used for majority of the printers out there, if not all from my knowledge. The second way, uh, it's a little bit trickier, I know. You start a print, just go into tune, change filament, and when the machine comes right back to you, uh, you just pull it out. You saw the motors, uh, the gears moving, so you just pull that sucker out. And then the annoying beeping happens and you stick a new filament in and if it's not far enough it will tell you but once you're done you just hit this button right here and the print will continue now you can use this like I said to change colors if you want in the middle of the print uh, as you saw earlier when I was doing the first method I actually did move the z-axis down a little bit and you do not want to do that because if your print is about yay high and your z-axis is here you push it down it's going to reprint from an area that's already been printed so that's it for this video guys uh i hope you enjoyed it this is something very simple to do uh you have to preheat the nozzle on both uh methods um uh, i find this easier on this one particular printer if you have other printers um you can do that now just a quick note on some other printers you might have to take this filament uh feeding tube out uh, in this particular one you do not so you are all set um, Thank you guys for watching if you have questions or comments or anything else just leave a comment down below And I'll try to get to you as soon as possible If you like this video give us a like and subscribe to our channel Bye